What is going on everybody? My name is Nico and welcome back to another Pokemon Unite video. Today I'm going to be talking about one of the weirdest things I've seen come out of this game, but something that is so incredibly crucial to how this game is played. And this is definitely a tip that is going to help you win more games playing Pokemon Unite. And it's something that was just brought to my attention. So I'm going to talk about all this today, but if this is your first time here on the channel, make sure you are subscribed for more videos like this in the future. So the subject of the video is about the most important mechanic to help you win games. Now, a lot of people are up in the air. A lot of people, you know, there's opinions that Dreadnought is important, Dreadnought is not important, that Rotom's more important, and that Zapdos is just busted because of the way it plays. I disagree with the Zapdos stance. I have a separate video talking about that entirely because Zapdos is a very crucial catch-up mechanic to this game. But Zapdos is not a situation where you need to take it all the time. And this mechanic goes specifically into that. And I want to preface this by saying that Pokemon Unite sucks at giving you any information on how the game works mechanically. They give you very basic tutorials and that's about all the information that they actually give you. Where if they actually explained how things work and what certain things do, there would be a huge change in how the game is fundamentally played and there would just be a better overall understanding on what to do while playing the games that would change a lot of situations that happen all the time so like i said this issue was brought to my attention earlier today where my buddy texts me about a certain mechanic involving dreadnought now in my opinion dreadnought is the most important objective in the game the reason i say this isn't because it gives you a shield or anything like that it's because it gives everybody on your team a whole level essentially enough experience to level you up and that's huge in this game because if you have a level or two difference you're going to be doing significantly more damage than your opponent so dreadnought is huge because it gives you that damage buff where you can just dominate the opponents and it's very big and you should definitely be taking this objective this is huge if you can t secure dreadnought for almost the entire game or for the entire game you're going to be doing a lot of work and that's what this mechanic really goes into so i'm going to bring us over here to this article to talk about what this new thing is and what has been discovered so as always this is going to be listed in the description below so you can check this article out for yourself but secret pokemon unite dreadnought buff just made killing zapdos even harder now, this might be confusing, but I'm going to go into specifics here. There are a few neutral objectives in Pokemon Unite, including the Dreadnoughts that spawn at the bottom of the map. Claiming their buff gives the team extra XP and shields, but also nerfs the team attack toward the ultimate neutral objective, Zapdos. The electric legendary Pokemon spawns with only 2 minutes left in the game, and the reported debuff can last up to 90 seconds, making it near impossible condition to claim it. Pokemon Unite fans have been wanting devs to release more specific details around the multiple facets of the game, so it's unclear if the problem is intentional or a bug. I definitely don't think it's a bug. That doesn't make any sense for there to be such a specific debuff that happens in regards to Dreadnought. I really don't. A look into the bug on Reddit revealed that taking Dreadnought right before going on the Zapdos gives you a massive disadvantage. To be precise, after securing Dreadnought, your team's damage to Zapdos is reduced by 55% for 90 seconds, the user said. You should not go for the last Dreadnought right before the 2 minute mark as your team will be at a major disadvantage. In Pokemon Unite, whenever a team starts Zapdos, there's usually an ensuing battle near its location at the center of the map. This turns into a push and pull battle where a team decides to either hope for the last hit on Zapdos or turn on the enemy team to take the fight. The video below demonstrates there's a video showing that when Pikachu takes Dreadnought and then goes to Zapdos, Thunderbolt deals 435 damage, but then after the debuff ends, the move deals 965 for a 55% decrease. And it's very, very big. And this is the mechanic that I'm talking about. So my friend was very upset about this mechanic and he was very very adamant that this was a bad thing in the game and i want to say that i agree with some of his stances he came and said that this is ridiculous that so few people actually know that this is in the game and i agree wholeheartedly with that it goes back to the fact that pokemon unite sucks at giving you information on what is actually happening in the game you can't know this information because they just don't freaking tell you and that is that is something i agree with do i think this mechanic is dumb no let me explain like i said earlier dreadnought is one of the most important variables in the game i think it is more important than even zapdos because of how good getting those extra levels is for your team it's not just people who hit dreadnought it's your entire team gets almost an entire level's worth of experience that is huge for getting you ahead in the game and once you get a couple of those dreadnoughts you get a couple of those level advantages you're going to be steamrolling teams through fights it's, it's just how it's going to work. You're going to be a very powerful team and going to be very tricky for the enemy team to actually go in and take you on. Now, the thing about this is 
that this is a huge advantage. Like I was saying, this is an incredibly huge advantage, which is why I think Zapdos is so key. If you have this advantage, you're definitely going to be scoring more points simply because the enemy team can't handle you. You're going to be able to score more points as a result of this, and you're going to be doing a lot more work on the scoreboard. And this comes down to the end game scenario because still so many people believe that Zapdos is the key. Zapdos is this golden snitch that you have to have to win and that's not the case, okay? Zapdos is situational. If you're ahead and you are getting the constant message that you're in the lead, Zapdos is not your end game. That's not, it's for the uh, opposing team to take to try and catch up because this game is so focused on actually scoring and not killing each other. You need a catch up mechanic like Zapdos in order for teams to be able to come back at the end game and actually win. That's what the purpose of Zapdos is. However, this buff really would change the whole scope because a lot of teams, even when they're ahead, make a play on Zapdos. They try to go and take Zapdos even when they're ahead in the game and that doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense because you're already up. There's no reason to put yourself in a vulnerable position to take Zapdos. And then a lot of teams that are behind see them take Zapdos. They get low on health. They come in and wipe the team. They get Zapdos. They win the game. It's not a problem with, you know, Zapdos being overpowered. It's a problem with bad play. This mechanic fixes that. Okay, this mechanic just like tells you right off the bat, the fact that you're getting a debuff on Zapdos after taking Dreadnought because you have such an advantage, that means right there that you're ahead. You don't need to take Zapdos. And if they made this message more clear in game, this would change up how people play the end game. For example, if you're in the last, you know, two, two to three minutes, you take Dreadnought. You're way more powerful than your opponents and you go, okay, we just need to control Zapdos. That's going to change how many people that, you know, are actually playing this game for a competitive reason and are understanding how this game works. They immediately see that debuff and they go, okay, perfect. We don't need to take Zapdos. We just need to stop them from taking Zapdos and scoring. And that's what this does. You already have the level advantage. You just need to defend Zapdos. And that's the huge part of all of this. All of this just needs to be explained better, and a lot of people are going to play the game very differently as a result. This also can be played against the opposing team. If you go and you trick the enemy team into fighting you at Dreadnought, and then you give them the Dreadnought and they're already behind, they now have that debuff, and taking Zapdos and winning the game is damn near impossible. So this is something that's just very big. It's, it's something that's huge, and it comes back ultimately to you know, Pokemon and whoever, Tencent, not explaining how this game works. If this was more known to more players, this would just change the end game entirely. So seriously, like Dreadnought is huge. It is so important in the first eight minutes of the game because it gives you such a strong advantage over your opponents. It's a very, very crucial objective to take throughout the game and something you definitely need to manage. And this mechanic being in game is not a problem. It's not an issue. It's something because the biggest thing about this is to say you get all the Dreadnoughts in the game. Okay, you take the last Dreadnought at like 2 minutes and 12 seconds and then Zapdos spawns. You have like 2 to 3 levels on your opponent. If this debuff didn't exist, what stops you as the dominant team from not only going to Zapdos and taking Zapdos, but then also holding off the opposing team because you have players that are just stronger. If you 3v5 in that situation and you throw in stuff like Snorlax or things that can wall out other players and just take damage and eat that up, you're not only holding them off Zapdos, but then taking Zapdos, taking away the only thing that gives people a chance to come back in this game in that sort of situation so this debuff exists so teams that are already you know dominating don't just abuse the game and take control of the entire situation it actually just promotes the idea that you don't need zapdos at the end of the game you don't need it you've already got an advantage just play smart that's what this is all about this debuff exists in order to not let people abuse the game and give the opposing team a chance to come back by making a smart play on Zapdos and doing things accordingly. That is what this is all about because that's what it comes down to in this game is score. So that's my thoughts. This is definitely something that's very important and you need to be aware of and this is something that is definitely going to help you win more games. Focusing on Dreadnought and understanding how Dreadnought works and impacts the game is freaking huge. But like I said, that's all I have. That's it for this video. Hope you guys found it entertaining and helpful. If you did, leave a like and smash the subscribe button for more videos like this in the future. Check out the Discord. People over there playing Pokemon all the time. Check me out over on Enter the Chat. Check me out on TikTok and all that stuff. If you're interested in keeping up with me, this channel, the stream, the podcast, anything like that. But like I said, that's it for this one. And I hope to see you all in the next one.
Peace.